Hallo. Sometimes we use an image of grass on a plane instead of a proper model. This is okay, definitely fast, but here are a few tips to make it better. Problem number one, not enough planes. We want to use less geometry, so we tend to use a cross of planes like this, since it's the lowest amount of faces that we can get away with. The flat nature of a billboard is really apparent when we see one of these clumps directly from the front. I'd say, sacrifice a bit of performance and use at least three, if not four planes per object. This breaks up the shape and gets rid of the flat angles that reveal the billboards. The individual grass clumps will look fuller, so we can get away with using less instances of them, thereby somewhat compensating for the additional faces. Three ideas to individualize grass planes. Don't let all the planes cross exactly in the center. A little bit of offset will make the object wider and break up the shape even more. Scale the planes differently. Use different grass textures on the same object. With these three adjustments, each clump will look more unique when observed from different sides, combating repetition. Problem number three, no rotation on the other axes. This is the original reason I wanted to make this video. It's so simple, yet I see it done wrong so often. Rotate your faces in a way that you will always see some part of the plane, even when looking straight down. Looking straight down is often a dead giveaway that an artist worked with billboards. So look at the difference between a perfectly vertical plane and some weird crooked ones. Instead of the ugly ground, we now see full healthy grass. Bonus idea, fading out the bottom. Since we are trying to hide the straight line where the billboards intersect with the ground, it's maybe also a fun idea to blend out the texture at the bottom a little bit, if your program allows for that. I hope this was helpful to someone.